Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome to episode 5 out of 6 on the Hanayama Cast Marine Puzzle mini-series. So far we have solved 4 of these marine puzzles, we have a 100% record on puzzles that are based on things living under the sea. It's probably something I should stick on, on a CV of some sort. But anyway, today our focus is on the Sea Bream puzzle. Now, based on difficulty, the Sea Bream puzzle shouldn't be that difficult to do in comparison to what we've done before. So, so far we've solved two level twos and two level threes. This is on the on the six level Hanayama difficulty scale, level six being the hardest impossible level, level one being the easiest. Today we are on that end of the scale, that level one. Which means, in theory, this shouldn't take too long and shouldn't be too complicated to solve. Our aim today is to separate those two sea bream fish that are connected to each other. There's one silver one, one gold one. Once we've taken it apart, well then our second half of the job is to, to reassemble them back into their original position. And then that'll be it. This is the, the penultimate episode on this little mini series. Hopefully we don't stutter at the last fence. And there's only one way to find out whether we're going to do that or not, and that is to crack on with trying to solve the Sea Bream puzzle. Okay, so here is the level 1 Sea Bream puzzle. Obviously, these are two Sea Bream fish. And our aim is to separate them. And given that it is a level 1, it, I think it shouldn't be too difficult. And obviously things like this probably matter, like looking around this gold piece. Yeah, those shapes probably mean something. And on the silver one, oh, we've got various sort of like gaps in the fins here that probably mean something as well. I found with all these sea, yeah, most of these marine uh, sort of What's it called? The, like the marine collection. The gold bit is always very lacking in its sort of like build quality. The silver, the silver pieces always look like like you would expect them to, pretty much like spot on. But the gold bits are always lacking. Like this one's a bit discolored. It looks like he's got sort of permanent fingerprint marks on it. It's yeah, not the best looking to be honest. Anyway. So, thinking about this, right, how does it actually solve it? Obviously, the, the gaps in both of them are between the tails and the heads. They're not sort of complete, the complete circles. But, oh, this looks good. That, well, looks good as in that fits very conveniently. Here it is, <laughs> and there it is. That is how we, well not that is how, that we have just disassembled the sea bream puzzle. As you'd expect for a level one, uh, to be honest, I'm not really sure what we did there or, or where the original position is. I think the original position was sort of through here. So uh, we've taken it apart now, we'll put it back together. Hopefully I'll, I'll find the original position. I should have taken a little bit more notice of that. Uh, but yeah, sea bream puzzle disassembled. Uh, yeah, now time to put it back together. So we'll get straight back into doing that. And what well, we solved sort of like, yeah, coming around that corner there, which is quite nice. And yeah, as I said, when, when we were taking it apart, it, it fits very nicely, which almost definitely means that it, it's a, a good thing that it happened, if you like. So, where do we need to get to? So that is a question I'm not 100% sure about. So those bits, as I said, seem to go through there. And then that allows us to get that fin through. And then... Yeah, yeah, I, I don't really know where the original position is. We'll use this picture, but it, it's not the clearest. So we've got silver tail sort of in this position. And the gold bit in that position there. So I think that... Is that possible? Yeah, so it, it, it looks like this is the original position. And yeah, there we go. Sea green puzzle. 
done. So there we go, we managed to solve the sea bream puzzle. Luckily for us, this, this wasn't a stumbling block and it was fairly straightforward to solve. Finding that sort of final separator move is probably the, the hardest of the challenges really with this one. But yeah, in comparison to the, well, the other four, so of the five that we've done now, out of six, so we, we nearly actually finished them all, but out of the five that we've done, yeah, that probably was the easiest one so far. So in terms of difficulty rating, I would definitely agree with where the sea beam is, is currently placed. And there it is. That is it for the, the penultimate episode in this little mini series. The final puzzle we're going to be looking at is the coolest looking, I think, in my opinion. And that is the, the, the also level one shark puzzle. So if you want to see that, then be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you will be the first to find out when that is released. And thank you very much for being here. If you want to do that and subscribe, then be sure to click my face here. And hopefully I will see you next time. Peace.